Yo, what's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna be breaking down how to create this 3D tracked particle effect. It's honestly super easy to do and you can do it completely stock in After Effects, no plugins necessary. If you guys have any suggestions for me, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below. This video is gonna be sponsored by my editing packs. If you guys just wanna level up your visuals or improve your workflow, make sure you guys check those out, link in the description. The sales on those packs is what allows me to keep going, so thank you everyone for supporting me and watching these videos. But yeah, enough of this intro, let's get straight into After Effects. Right here, I've just got a clip from one of Emily Choppa's music videos and we're gonna go ahead and make floating particles all around them. So super easy, the first Step, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on my clip then go to the right to the tracker tab and we're gonna go ahead and click track camera now it's just gonna go ahead and analyze the 3d track so now that the camera is solved you can see by scrubbing through this we have all of these track points everywhere and what we're gonna do is just find a really good group of them and uh, just click and drag you'll get this little lasso tool once we have all of these selected you'll see that the target is in line with the floor we're gonna go right click and create null and camera now we've got a 3d tracker camera as well as a track null so the next step of this is just gonna go ahead and make a solid so right click go to new solid we can go ahead and hit okay now we're gonna go to our effects and presets we're gonna grab cc particle world now this comes stock with after effects so all you guys should be able to do this we're gonna drag this on a red solid now you can see if i play that back we've got this super cool particle explosion but it's not doing exactly what we want right now we're gonna go ahead and do is go into the effects on the cc particle world i'm gonna go to grids and guidelines go ahead and hide the grid the horizon and the axis box for the birth rate i'm gonna set it to something like 10. i'm also gonna go ahead and set the longevity to 10 as well we're going down into the producer we can go ahead and move it x y and z but I'm just going to go ahead and leave it in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and make the radius X, Y, and Z super high and set them all to 10. Next, I'm going to go down to physics and I'm going to go ahead and set the velocity to zero. I'm also going to go ahead and set the gravity to zero. Then going down into the particle effects, I'm going to go ahead and set the particle type to the faded sphere. And here we can go ahead and change the colors. I'm going to go ahead and get the eyedropper tool and pick one of the colors from our scene. Hit OK. Now we can go ahead and increase the birth size. I'm going to go ahead and set it to something like 1.2. Now playing that back, you can see that later in the clip, we have these particles start to spawn in. But since in the beginning, they're still birthing, I'm actually just going to go ahead and drag this to the left. So that way we get the particles fully in frame while we're playing it. Now you can see that we have all of these particles in frame and it looks super cool. As you can see, some of the particles are turning red and that's because the death color is that color. If we wanted to go ahead and change that, we might go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and set it to something like purple. So that way it really fits the scene. Hit OK. We've got all these particles in our scene and it looks super cool. If you guys wanted, we could go ahead and make them bigger or smaller. So if we can make them a little bit bigger and that looks pretty cool right there. And as you can see, they're completely 3D tracked the scene and it looks super sick. Last part of this is going to be masking out our subjects. That way he's actually in front of the particles and it looks like he's walking through them. We could go ahead and rotoscope him, but I'm going to go ahead and do it the lazy way. I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate my clip and drag this on top of all of our layers. Next, I'm just going to grab the rectangle tool and make a quick and easy mask of our subject. So going to the beginning, I'm just going to go ahead and keyframe the mask path and roughly adjust it to where he is. While I'm doing this, I'm also going to go ahead and increase the mask feather a bit uh, to something like maybe 80. And I'm just going to go ahead through this and just follow Emily Choppa with this mask. As you can see, just by adding that little mask, it adds a ton of realism to this effect. And it looks like Emily Choppa is actually walking through these particles. If you guys wanted to add some extra sauce, we could go ahead and animate the particles. It's so going back into our red solid and our particle effects. I'm going to go ahead and set the gravity to something like negative 0.5. It's just going to make the particles flow up might make it a little bit less than negative point two we have these particles slowly floating up and i think that looks pretty cool we could also do it in the reverse so we can go ahead and set the gravity to something like point two and now it kind of gives you that snowfall effect and it looks pretty cool setting the gravity back to zero we could also play around with the animation so we could go ahead and change the animation to anything we want I'm going to go ahead and set it to vortex. We can go ahead and increase the velocity to something like five. Now you can see our particles are doing this crazy animation. Change it to something like twirl. And that's just going to give us a completely different look. You guys could definitely go ahead and play around with these particle animations to get a super unique look. But yeah, I just wanted to hop on here and share this quick effect with you guys. One of the five essential music video transitions you need in 2023, click right here. YouTube wants you to check out this video down here. Follow me on Instagram, join the Discord. I'll see you guys in the next one later.